Welcome to the Victoria Report. This episode is about the bully. In a recent book, Steve Mosher calls the People's Republic of China the bully of Asia, which is indeed an apt description of the nation. A bully does not necessarily command pure strength, but it would appear strong because it is very skillful in selecting its targets. It would only pick on those who are reluctant to respond or to fight back. The events that developed recently in Canada certainly illustrate that. Another classic example is the extradition bill amendment in Hong Kong. We have no idea what was the true intention of the authorities or what they were trying to achieve, but it's quite certain that it has very little to do with the murder case in Taiwan. It was a, an, a blatant display of insincerity, but the bully almost worked in intimidating the people in Hong Kong to submission. Then the response was massive and unexpected, and they had to step back. And retreat. Since the so called US China rapprochement in the early 70s, we've been told time and again by the old China hands that to deal with communist China, you have to be careful not to upset it, not to anger it, or in other words, like what they like to say, not to hurt the feelings of the people of China. But the reality is very much the opposite because you're dealing with a bully. The only way to deal with a bully is to look it in the eye and stay firm. If you command the moral high ground rather than the other side, and you have to hold your ground, and it would back down. The recent incident in Hong Kong tells us that the only way to treat China is to call a spade a spade. Thank you for listening. Bye.